hi guys welcome back okay so i wanted to do a quick little shop my stash the items that i chose from my last shop my stash i didn't really do a recap video because a lot of the stuff i had already used or talked about in a video you know where i showed you guys me doing my whole face so i didn't do a whole recap video but i'm ready to pick some new stuff <laughs> So I'm in a different type of setup a little bit because I did move my room around a bit. You guys know with this whole stay at home quarantine thing, I've been a little bit restless. So I did move <laughs> my stuff around, my acrylics at least. And so I'm over here right now and you can see me in this video. So I just want to go ahead and pull some stuff so I can, you know, kind of enjoy doing some makeup this so, week. So let's just go ahead and get started. I want to pick out a foundation first. I kind of want to just do it in the order that I do my face aside from eyebrows because you guys know I always use my LA Girl Shady Slim Eyebrow Pencil. You guys know this is my number one favorite eyebrow pencil. It just works so bomb for me. So there's no need for me to do anything different so I'm using my pencil this week and if you guys are regulars you know I always use my wet and wild concealer this is a photo focus concealer to clean up around my eyebrows so those are staples I'm not changing those for my eyeshadow primer I think I am going to switch it up though I have been using my elf stay all day um, eyelid you know eyeshadow primer for a while because I really like that stuff but I think I want to use my um, Too Faced Born This Way concealer for a while this stuff works really really well as a eyelid you know eyeshadow primer so I'm gonna go ahead and use this for the next week okay so foundation I already know I want to use my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop for this week. I haven't used it in a while and just in case you guys don't know, this is actually one of my absolute favorite foundations. This foundation, I use the shade Cappuccino, I believe, but this foundation is so, so nice. It just gives an amazing finish. It is nice and matte. It lasts all day long on me. And I like the way that this shade looks on me as well. So I'm going to use that. And I think just to choose one more foundation, I'm going to choose this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I haven't used this one in quite a while. So I really want to play around with this one this week. I don't think there's that much in here for me to use. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it, but I don't think there's that much in here. Okay, let's pick a concealer. Um, I have two drawers that have concealers in them, but I kind of already have one in mind. I think I want to use my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. I haven't used this one in quite a while, so I think I'm going to use this one. And I have the shade 420. I'm also going to pick my NYX HD Concealer. I actually found recently that this seems like a pretty good dupe for the pretty vulgar concealer that i fell in love with and i don't want to buy because it's a little bit pricey this one is actually on sale on ulta well when i'm filming this for like four dollars and fifty cents and this stuff i really really like so i think i'm going to go ahead and pull this and use some of this instead of my pretty vulgar for a little while so i'm going to do my l'oreal and my nyx hd now, I do need to pull a mascara because um, I don't have one out right now. I've been using the Pretty Vulgar Mascara as well. And this stuff is actually really good. The more I use it, the more I notice that it works really, really well on my lashes to give them extra volume and length. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull the Pretty Vulgar one. Now, I did get this in my <clears throat> my monthly subscription box i believe i showed this wand before already but yeah it's not the typical wand that i like but i like this mascara so i'm gonna use it for this week i also hmm, 
I think I'm also going to pull my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara because this one is always a winner. You can never go wrong with this one. This mascara is bomb, you guys. It's like one of the best. And the wand is really, really nice as well. So I'm going to pull these two for this week. Maybe it'll help me have a good makeup week. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on to loose powder. Now, I kind of already know which loose powder I want to use because I've been missing it. This Becca Hydra Mist, I have a brand new one because I used the one that I got in my subscription box. It is gone, y'all. So I have this brand new one that I purchased. Um, I don't remember if I bought this um, during one of Ulta's half price sales or... If I just bought this at full price, I don't remember. But you guys, this stuff, I love this powder. It's so nice and fine. It feels really weird. It's interesting. You have to get used to it when you're using it because when it goes on, it feels wet. But it's just so fine and smooth. It just, it looks amazing. So this is definitely a powder that I think is worth the price, you know, the high price of it. But it's the Becca Hydra Mist and I have the shade Golden Bronze. Okay, so I need a setting powder for my face. I have been using my Kiss Pro Touch um, Matte Powder Foundation to set my face for quite a while now. I love this stuff. It's perfect for me. It just works. But to switch it up, and I don't have a lot of um, setting powders for my face. I think uh, I think maybe I'll do the L'Oreal True Match setting powder. I only used this for a little while after purchasing it. And I do um, think that I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one for a little while. And I have the shade C7. So I'll use this to set my whole face. Now, I also want to pull this Sephora um, Micro Smooth Powder. Me and my girl DJ, I think we were talking about this powder, if I'm not mistaken. Because I see it as a finishing powder, right? A finishing powder. And I'm not sure, exactly sure how to best use a finishing powder. Since I do use, you know, a loose powder, a setting powder, and all that stuff. But I do want to play around with this a bit more and just using it in different ways to kind of see how it will best work for me and my skin. If I can use this to set or if I need this to just kind of, you know, dust, lightly dust on my face after I finish my whole makeup look. I don't know. But I have the shade Deep, so I want to play around with this a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to pick a bronzer right quick. Um, I haven't really used my Morphe um, Glamour Bronze bronzer in a while. This is one of my absolute favorites. You guys know I love this bronzer. I use the shade Phenom. And I know they came out with a, some darker shades or at least one darker shade and some new packaging. But I love this bronzer so I might go ahead and pick that I did recently use my Essence Matte Bronzing Powder Quad, and this um, quad is actually really nice as well. It doesn't look that dark, but it actually shows up rather nicely on me. I've also been thinking about pulling a face palette to use that I haven't used in a while. This is the Revolution and Rox Roxy Roxasaurus Contour and Highlight Palette. And this palette, I think, is actually um, really good for contouring on me. I don't know so much about bronzing, but the contouring works very, very nice. And the highlighter is actually beautiful in here as well. So I might pull this just to um, get some use out of the contour and the highlight. I think I will, actually. But for bronzing, I did um, purchase a couple of new bronzers, actually, to play around with. Um, I have this Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil bronzer. The packaging on this is so nice, you guys. When I opened it up, I was like, oh, that's really pretty. So it's just really pretty. That's what it looks like. If you haven't seen it, it's really, really nice. Um, 
and this is what it looks like on the inside so I do kind of want to test this out. It looks like it might work for me, but you know, you never know. So I did pick this up. Did I get this on the 21 Days of Beauty? I think I did get this for half price on 21 Days of Beauty, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I'm going to try this out this week for bronzer. And if I don't like it, then I'll just grab something else. <laughs> Y'all know how I do. Okay, so for blush, you guys... Um, during the holidays last year, you know, with all the holiday sales and stuff back in December and November, I went crazy buying blushes. So I have a lot of blushes to choose from, but, hmm, let me take a quick look and see what I want to play around with. Now this blush here, this L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Peach, I think this is one of the ones that I picked for my last shot mustache. This blush is really nice, you guys. Really, really nice. Nice and soft. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Nice and soft. It just leaves a nice, pretty, peachy flush on your cheeks. Very nice. Now, I do want to try this Juvia's Place blush. I'm dying to get one of their highlighters. I keep forgetting to pick one up. But this is in the shade Bella, it looks like. The packaging is so cute on these, you guys. But this is the color for Bella. Very, very pretty. So, yeah, I think... And it's unique. This color is very unique to me, so... Yeah, I'm going to pull this one for blush, and then I want something a little bit toned down, not as bold. Uh, I haven't used my Pretty Vulgar blush in a while. I got this in a monthly subscription box as well. This one is the shade Make Them Blush. And this is what it looks like. Very, very muted, toned down, but it looks really, really nice on the skin tone. Very pretty. Blushes surprise me oftentimes because I'll look at them. I'll be like, that's too light. That's not going to show up on me. And then I put it on and it's just a really nice flush of color. So, yeah, I'm going to pick those two. Now, highlights, you guys. I did snag a new highlight. One of the highlighters that I picked for my last shot mustache, I didn't even use, okay? And, um... It was the Ciate one. I don't think I used the Ciate one. I know when I swatched it, it was gorgeous, but I never even used it. It's so, so pretty. I'm kind of tempted to pull it again just, just so I can test it out. So I think I might pull that one again. Now, a new highlighter that I just picked up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is this Nabla. The one that I got is the Nabla Skin Glazing in Lucent Jungle. <laughs> so... Let me show you guys what this looks like. It's so pretty. Look at that. That is so gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. So, so pretty. So yeah, I'm definitely going to pull that. Um, I know, I don't. This Milani highlighter, I have been using this ever since I bought it like a month, two months ago. You guys, these Milani highlighter duos, this one is in the shade Double Shot guaranteed to give you a bomb highlight okay guaranteed it is so gorgeous like if you're my skin tone darker maybe a little lighter it is so bomb i have it on today hello <laughs> but i'm not gonna pull it again and let's see i also just picked up this um Physician's formula. This is more kind of like, which is interesting. It's kind of like supposed to be like a face type palette or whatever. This cute little packaging that they have. I hate how CVS puts the stickers, just sticks it right on the packaging. It's so annoying. But that's what the packaging looks like. It's really, really cute. And it's kind of bulky though, because this is what the product looks like, as you can see. It has like very, very light to very, you know, nice and warm kind of highlighty shades, but it's supposed to be kind of like 
bronzer shadow you know brightening and stuff like that for more fair complexions so of course for me i'm just going to use these two bottom rows to highlight with and so let me see if i can kind of you know it's just kind of like um one of those soft highlights not anything beaming just very very soft so I thought I might like that on days where I do want a little brightening, but I don't want it to be beaming. So yeah, I'm going to test that out on my face. Yeah, you can kind of see. You see how that looks? That's pretty. And see how I like it. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this too. But what I was saying was the reason why it's kind of bulky is, ooh, I'm dropping stuff. Inside, there is a mirror. So there's a mirror in there you can see and it also comes with like this cute little brush and then also this brush as well you know for you to be able to use the products on your face in different ways different areas let me show you see that's what it suggests for you to do with the different um rows of product so but for me i'm just going to use it as a soft highlight on my cheekbones okay so for moisturizers primers things like that i just went and grabbed some because i don't want to be dragging my camera all over the place so i did go ahead and grab my peach and lily glass skin refining serum to use this week you guys this stuff is bomb oh my gosh it is so bomb and they actually had this on sale during the 21 days of beauty if you've never used it um it's very very nice it leaves your skin just <laughs> feeling so hydrated and refreshed it how can i say it absorbs very easily very nicely it doesn't just sit on top of the skin it absorbs very nicely and it just gives your skin a nice beautiful hydrated sheen i love this stuff um I kind of probably should have got another one, but I'm trying my hardest not to buy backups and stuff because <laughs> I have too much stuff. So I'm going to use that this week. I also pulled my Touch and Soul Glassy Skin. I got this in a monthly subscription box, I think around the same time that I got that Peach and Lily. As you can see, I've already been <laughs> kind of going in kind of deep with it. But this stuff, oh my gosh, it's just a nice... A nice <laughs> it's just a nice um creamy moisturizer it smells really nice it's very faint just a very very faint scent nothing wild or crazy it just smells like nice skincare and it feels really really good i'm telling you when i combine these two together my whole face just looks like <laughs> like I'm just glowing and looking so healthy, drinking my water, minding my business. It just, it works. For primers, I did pull my Fenty Beauty. This was the original, I think, is this Mattifying? I don't know, but this was the original primer that she first came out with. So I went ahead and pulled this because I haven't used that in a while. And I also have a new one that I want to try. I um, went ahead and purchased a bunch of Ole Henriksen samples from Sephora so I could try them out see if uh you know all the hubbub and the hype is real and if I like it I can purchase some full-size ones so this is the banana bright face primer and this is what that looks like so I'm going to be trying this out this week so I can see what the haps is that's what that looks like Hmm. It just, it smells like the rest of their skincare <laughs> to me. Yeah, it, it smells like, um, you know, like those moisturizers that have the citrus in it and everything to help with like dark spots and that help to brighten. That's what it smells like. It just has a citrusy smell to it. Ooh, I like how that feels going on top of that serum and moisturizer. It just kind of left like a nice base there so yeah i like that i think these are going to work very very nicely together so i'm excited about that 
Okay, so for palettes, I think I have a nice little combination or a hodgepodge of palettes this week. This one I actually already used. This one is the Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild collab palette, the Jungle Rock. So I did already use this, so look out for that video. I don't know which one will be up first, this one or that one. But yeah, I did already use this once. I kind of want to play around with it some more to use some of the other shadows that I didn't get a chance to use. But just, you know, look out for that video if you're curious about my thoughts on this palette. I also grabbed this Pinky Rose Bright Lights palette. I haven't used this in a long time. But this palette, you guys, you want to talk about bright colors, neon shades, spring type colors, as well as some really pretty pressed glitters in there. I specifically pulled it because I want to do an eye look just focusing on this super bright neon green down here. Yeah, I want to do an eye look that's just like completely based off of that green. So yeah, pulled that. I also pulled this palette from ABH that I just picked up. <laughs> Another palette I said I wasn't getting. This is the Amrezy, and yeah, it's gorgeous. You guys have seen this a million times, but I did go ahead and grab it for my collection, and I'm actually kind of looking forward to trying it out because the shimmers in here, even like that really pretty like purpley shade at the bottom, the pink shade, but... Yeah, I'm really actually looking forward to trying this palette out, even though I wasn't that hype about it when it first came out. I feel like some of these shades up here are going to be just absolutely gorgeous. So I did pull this. I also picked up this palette in the last, was it BoxyCharm pop-up sale that they have where you can buy stuff, you know, extremely discounted. This is the Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn. This palette, I thought, was just so gorgeous. I don't know. It's just something about, you know, when you see those bright, bold colors together, at least for me, along with those nice, rich, warm colors, I just, I was like, I couldn't pass it up. I don't remember what I paid for it. Eight bucks? Twelve bucks? Honey, I don't know, but I feel like it was worth it because the shadows in here are so pretty. So, so gorgeous. I mean, it's nothing you know, groundbreaking, but I like seeing those colors together. The next palette that I grabbed out of my collection is my Me, Myself, and Mumu Mumu Mitchell palette. I haven't used this in a long time. I only use this palette maybe two or three times, and um, I wanted to revisit it. I, want, I really wanted to revisit it because I felt you know some type of way about the shimmers and just the formula of the shimmers and i feel like i need to get better acquainted with this palette so i picked this one to maybe do a red look this time i think yeah i think i might try and do a red look this time with this palette and lastly this is a palette that i picked up recently from ulta um, I believe it was on sale for like 25 bucks. It's one of NYX's larger palettes. This one is the Modern Dreamer. It's not new by any means. I just really wanted to try it out. So I went ahead and picked it up on sale and used one of their 350 coupons on it. Because <laughs> I thought it was a really pretty collection of shades. I think this would be kind of nice for spring as well. Maybe I can do a nice spring look with this and just kind of test this one out i actually like their other palette that's like this i can't remember what it's called but the first one that they came out like this i really like that one so i'm hoping that i like this one too Okay, you guys, so this is my shop, my stash for this week. I had a lot of fun shopping with you guys. I hope you guys have fun shopping with me, and I will see you on my next one. Toodles! Mm -hmm.